today I was just minding my own business and then Kim Namjoon decided that he was going to just drop this song on me and hit me with way too many feels. In case you did not know, BTS is coming back with their upcoming album, Map of the Soul, Persona. And this time around, we got the comeback trailer featuring Kim Namjoon. It's been a while since Namjoon was the person doing the comeback trailer as the members cycle through who gets the coveted comeback intro slot. And this time was Namjoon's again. And boy, can I say that this was a satisfying track. So there's a lot going on, both with the song and its lyrics, and also with the meaning behind the video, because there is a lot going on. So let's just go ahead and talk a little bit about some of the things that I took away from this and why I'm so excited for this upcoming album. So in case you did not know, Map of the Soul Persona is playing off of the entire concept of Carl Jung's Map of the Soul. So this is a concept of how people exist in their consciousness and how we reflect upon ourselves and how we project that into the world. So the self is the sum total of the psyche and its potential. The persona in which we are dealing with right here is a system of masks that are used for different occasions. If you know something about being a black American or many different other situations also use this, but there's something called code switching in which that means pretty much you have a state of being that you a mask, a persona that you use regularly. However, when you arrive in different situations, that mask changes. So the persona is essentially those masks that we wear. So everybody has different masks. You behave one way around one person and it's completely different around other people. These are masks that we don for numerous different reasons. Sometimes it's to protect ourselves. Sometimes it's just because that's how we want other people to think of us. But usually these masks are done to please others. And then there's the shadow, which is the element of ourself, which we dislike, the things that we wish to hide and ignore. But they are absolutely necessary and they serve as a balancer to prevent, the sh to prevent people from becoming shallow and being less of a full person. So acknowledging the shadow and what we have and dislike and the things we wish to improve is extremely important. Then there's also the anima and the animus. The anima is related to male, the animus is related to female. And this is an idea that goes towards the sexual construct in which we are looking for an opposite of ourselves in some way. something A person that reflects the values that you currently have and the things and traits and things that you are good at and not. And that's the idea of the anima animus, that you are looking for somebody to complement you. It is a, essentially, it is a con concept of yin and yang. And then finally, the last part that I'm going to mention is individuation, which is a journey to wholeness. So the self essentially goes on this journey of individuation to find oneself. So let's just go ahead and dig in to a little bit more, because there's a lot more that you can talk about Jung, but let's talk about Namjoon and this Persona track. So the first thing that I want to talk about with this track is that it is a reference to School Love Affairs intro, and it is fantastic. What we get is School Love Affairs intro was already this 90s sounding song that was very retro and had this awesome, cool feel to it. The MB that released to it was this animated, funky 90s kind of vibe animation, which was really fun, really fit the track. What we get here is a remix of that track, which makes it feel even more 90s somehow. And this is a throwback. This is going back to BTS's roots. This is BTS doing hip hop. This is Nam June throwing it down like we know he can. And the entire fact that it is a remix of a previous song also helps this idea of individuation and the journey to his wholeness, the progression that he's made from the rap monster stage name that he once had to the person that he is now. So let's talk a little bit about how it goes from the school love affair intro video literally and fades into a chalkboard. On that chalkboard, we have a bunch of things that are going on. And there's a lot of words scrawled across there. We see the word persona, shadow, ego, map of the soul. And there are quotes as well on this um, board. 
There is a quote about dreams. There is also another quote that says, I am not what happened to me. I am what I become, which is there's just all these references to Jung and the things that he's written and this idea of the map of the soul. It is all nice and neat on the board. We come out and we see Namjoon ready to deliver to us. And this is where we get the intro of the song, which has transitioned into this fully remixed version of the School Love Affair intro and has now become Persona fully. And immediately we get questions. He is questioning what is going on and who, what about his life he needs to address. And the questions of who am I and bigger questions of why, why are things like this? That's what we get initially. And then we see what is a doll that can be assumed to be one of his masks gets tossed out of the closet. Could it be possible that that was the rap monster image that has been tossed away that is no longer there? Because it would make sense because as soon as that gets tossed out, we transition into the shadow section. And as I mentioned before, the shadow is the darkness, the things that you maybe don't like, the things that are lingering in your past. And with the shadow, Namjoon goes into the shadow and he starts to criticize himself openly addressing his shadow and literally the entire video shifts the room goes dark and the writings that had been on the chalkboard are now just scattered across the wall it is graffitied and it is dark and he is questioning things about himself does he know where he came from he acknowledges that sometimes he's immature and he acknowledges how he knows himself thinking that he is not good enough to be amused to other to be things to others, to be important to others. And he questions why, because he knows and feels like he knows who he is, all the things that he dislikes, and it's mirrored with this darkness. However, then we move back into more lights. And here we see all the people with masks, the different personas. However, the important elements of them switching However, what gets really interesting is that there's this switching between the personas and him addressing himself. There's literally an animated version of himself that he is speaking to and having some sort of conversation with. But we're also still switching back every so often to the darkness, to all of the shadow. And this is where he then mentions that he is finding his barometer. He is finding that balance between the light and the dark, between the good things and what he hopes for himself versus the darkness and the things that he dislikes. Then we have him addressing how we love his persona, but who is he? And he is only a part. And in this section, we get a actual sign where he asks, who am I? And literally a sign drops that says Kim Namjoon. Because he then goes into speaking on how there are different me's and how there's a there are personas that cry and these different personas that are going through different things and they have different things that are happening, but they are all him. And he's okay with it because he now has his balance. But what really strikes is how the song ends and how he goes from referencing me in quotations to saying what he specifically wants. He says that I want to be the shoulder when you cry. He goes on and speaks, I want to fly. And he's stating the things that he wants. That is him, what his persona is offering to us and what he wants to provide. And I feel like this song just ends up hitting on so many levels. The remix, the delivery, Namjoon is an artist and it shows. And this track is just amazing. Let me know what you thought. I know I kind of rambled a little bit, but I had a lot of thoughts about this and it's kind of a great track and I am super excited for this album. If we're going to get more raw songs like this, 
I am all in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.